sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction involves the fusion of the male and the female gametes. The two processes involved in sexual reproduction are meiosis and fertilization. 1. Meiosis It is a type of cell division by which the number of chromosomes 2n in a cell nucleus is halved during the formation of haploid n germ cells. Since meiosis forms the basis of sexual reproduction, it increases the genetic diversity of the offspring. This supports evolution of organisms and creates biodiversity. 2. Fertilization Fertilization is the process of fusion of male and female gametes to form the diploid zygote. Sexual reproduction in plants Flower The flower is the reproductive structure in a plant. The different parts of a flower are sepals, petals, stamens and carpels. Sepals protect the flower in the bud stage. Petals surround the reproductive parts of the flower and are usually brightly colored to attract pollinators. Stamen is the male reproductive part of the flower. A stamen has a long stalk called the filament with a usually bilobed structure called the anther at the tip. The anther produces pollen grains that form the male gametes or germ cells. Carpal present in the center of the flower is the female reproductive part. The carpal has a swollen base that contains one or more egg cells or ovules. An elongated part called the style and a sticky terminal part called the stigma. The stigma is the receptive organ that receives the pollen grains during pollination. Pollination Pollination is the process of transfer of pollen grains from anther to the stigma. Pollination is of two types, self-pollination and cross-pollination. Self-pollination Self-pollination is the transfer of pollen grains to stigma of the same flower or another flower of the same plant. Fertilization After pollination, a pollen tube containing two male gametes grows out from a pollen grain that travels through the style to reach the ovary. The male gametes are released near the egg. One of the male gametes fuses with the egg cell to form the zygote. The second one fuses with the secondary nucleus in the embryo sac to form the endosperm. This is called 
double fertilization. Formation of seed and the fruit. The zygote divides several times to develop into an embryo within the ovule. Endosperm provides nourishment to the growing embryo. The ovule develops into a seed and ovary into the fruit. Germination The embryo contained within the seed develops into a seedling under appropriate conditions. This process is known as germination.